one of the key pages in business central base application is the request to approve and it, it displays the pending approval requests that the user should look at either to approve or reject and uh, in day 26 in today's video we are looking at the page triggers and one of the page triggers is the on open page and we can look at the use case here is we are displaying we are filtering so that when we are trying to open the page this is the uh, these are the values that will be displayed for this particular page this uh, we are filtering to the user ID to make sure that this is the user that okay the current user we should not display approval requests that belong to another user for the current user and also we are making sure that the status is also open this is a very good use case for triggers and code in page so code in page should only be used if such a functionality is so complex or the filter is complex and it's so dynamic in a way not a static filter like maybe status is approved you only want to display uh or you on all you only want to display all the approve the the open entries then that's uh, that's not it because if we look at this on open page after set user id filter which is part of the page it's an integration event but i believe it looks at uh, displaying for the approval administrator i don't know if the approval administrator is here The approval administrator is not on this okay it's being subscribed i believe and implemented so now this uh this is how we can use triggers we should use them with care but uh, at times we need to use them and we have several triggers for pages like the on init which initializes the user defined variables on a page the on open so run after a page in, is initialized and run so uh, here the page controls have not been loaded here in the on init the page controls haven't been loaded yet but in the on open page the page controls have been loaded and the on after get current record will run after the current record is retrieved from the table so another good one for looking at controls that are specific to displaying and all that so we can basically leverage the on after get current record because it is working with the current record so this means we can be able to display or hide the display of our controls using the on after get current record and when we look at the the set control appearance it basically looks uh, we can see that it's it basically sets this particular uh, appearances and uh, a very good use case here is when you're saying open entries exist for current user we are trying to determine if the approve button should be clickable or not a good design principle is why show me a button which when i click there is no action so i should only be showed a button that if i click on it then there is some action on it and this is what it can enable you to make the user's life quite easier then we do have the on after on new record we have several others but we're just trying to peep in a few and we can see basically here we are trying to set the responsibility center and also maybe set buy from vendor filter set default remit address and all that so this, these are some of the functionalities that we can be able to set up 
for the page and an another good use case for on new record remember the on new record will run after a new record is initialized but before it is inserted as a record in the table so this particular record has not been inserted in the table but it has just been initialized so we can have a, a way of setting default values or uh, if we have the same two okay if, if we want to differentiate two pages maybe their number series that those two pages have the same table as the source table we can use the on new record and in that case maybe the record they have a type maybe specifier so the on new record will basically be able to be initialized and uh, uh, be able to differentiate the two tables or pages that you're using so these are some of the triggers that we have you we have looked at but we have others we have the on delete record self-explanatory on close page on find record on insert record so this is when the record is being inserted similar to the let me see let me see runs before a new record is inserted so just before the new record is inserted on the table but all the variables have been initialized in this case so on modify record on next record and then these are the ones for on background uh, task completed on page background task error on close uh, uh, on query close page so th these are for implementing background tasks but the on next record will determine the next whether uh, determines the next record to be displayed uh, let me see if there's a use case for on next record next record not really haven't used it yet uh, but um, if you have used on, ne on next record you should just come running and tell us how you have used it anyway it's just a touch up on the triggers and only we should only use code on page only when necessary so i'll see you in day 20 seven of 30 days of al programming if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss the next one